Buffer chips ensure the increase of signal's load capacity. That is, make it possible to send the signal to multiple outputs. Moreover, the majority of buffers have an open collector OC output or a chi state 3S output, which makes them suitable for bidirectional lines and for signal multiplexing. Bidirectional lines are the ones in which signals can travel in two opposite directions, in contrast to unidirectional, one-way lines that go from one output to one or several outputs. Bidirectional lines enable connection of multiple outputs and multiple inputs. It is clear that bidirectional lines can be built only on the basis of open collector or tri-state outputs. Almost all buffers have exactly these outputs. Multiplexing denotes transfer of different signals over the same lines at different times. Its main objective is to reduce the total number of connecting lines. As few as one output can be connected to a multiplexed buffer-based line, but several OC and 3S outputs are definitely a must. An LP17 microchip is an example of an OC output buffer. Output of several OC buffers can be combined to obtain wired and function. That is, logic 1 as output will only be obtained given ones on all inputs. Thus, multi-input N element is fully implemented. 3S output buffers are represented by a far greater number of microchips, that is, LP8, LP11, AP5, AP6, AP14. These buffers always have an EZ or OE driving point that transfers the outputs to the third passive state. It is often needed to process not single signals, but groups of them, that is, signals that transfer multi digit codes. In this case, it is convenient to use buffers with group control that is, those having one EZ enable input for several outputs. For these purposes, one can use AP5 microchips. Two of these chips enable multiplexing of two eight-digit codes. Homonymous outputs of both microchips are connected. Transfer of each of the two input codes to the output is permitted by their own control signal. As opposed to unidirectional buffers, bidirectional ones enable signal transfer in both directions, depending on the special T driving signal. Inputs can become outputs and vice versa. Third state EZ control is always present, too. It can disable both inputs and outputs. Another widespread application of buffers related to their high output current is LED indication. There are two ways of connecting light emitting diodes to buffers outputs. Firstly, an LED is lighted when the logic 1 signal is present and 2 or 3 state output. Secondly, it is lighted when there is a logic zero signal at the open collector output. Resistor value is determined depending on the LED's properties, but it is usually about 1 kilo ohm.